Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a new tool introduced to Maya 2022. We had something similar in the bonus tools, but now we have the sweep mesh tool built directly into the new released version of Maya. And this tool gives us some great features for creating meshes from a simple curve shape. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Gumroad for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. So without further ado, let's get started. It's a fantastic curved based modeling tool, which basically works with the curves and allows you to turn them into meshes in one click. We can do so by selecting these curves here and heading up to create sweep mesh. And this will instantly turn our curves into meshes. And some of the most common examples would be for making fast wires or cables. Right, so let's go over some of the main options we can adjust. We can go ahead and adjust the number of sides, which is basically just deciding how much resolution we want to give to these meshes. We can adjust the scale profile to change the thickness just by moving this slider here. We also have twist and taper, which you should already be familiar with if you followed my extrude tool tutorial. One of the great advantages to using this new tool is the sweep profiles which we can use to change the shape of our mesh. By default, we have poly, which is rounded and cylindrical. And next to that, we have rectangle, which is squared. As you can see, if I just zoom in here. But we also get some nice options for rounded corners, which we can adjust. And we will get back to these other profiles in just a minute. But first, I just want to go over something which the tool handles really well, which is sharp angles close to being 90 degrees. So if I just unhide my other example, and I'm just going to apply sweep mesh to my curve, and I'm just going to adjust the scale a little. So cool. So if we go down to interpolation, we can adjust this precision value to adjust the amount of edge loops being used. So you can see that here. And we can also toggle on optimize, which is only going to put edge loops where we actually need them, as you can see, which is super nice. The last thing I'm going to cover in this tutorial is custom profiles. So if I go ahead and unhide my other example, you can see that here I have created a plane with a shape on it. And if I go ahead and just choose custom profile, we will get this little pop-up box. And we just go ahead and change this from curve to poly object. And now we can just go ahead and select this plane. And you can see that our new profile makes our sweep mesh the same shape. We can make changes to our plane on the fly, such as rotate it. And you can see we get a live update. We can scale or even make changes to the vertices. As you can see, the sweep tool is a really versatile tool and can be used to create a lot of different shapes and objects. There's a lot more functionality, but this has been a quick tutorial to just get you started. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.